Good day, this is Paya. So today is December 21, 2019, 3.05pm. So update this, ginawa natin school management system using c -Sharp and MS SQL database. Okay, so first part ng ating tutorial, so nagawa na tayo ng, o maka-add na tayo dito ng academic year. Pero hindi pa natin, wala pang function dito pag open na sa kapag close ng ating academic year. So, importante kasi na open at close natin yung academic year natin. So, ang purpose niya is, once na i-open natin yung isang academic year, so, i-load niya lahat ng mga records sa um, academic year na yun. Okay, and there is, yung, yung iba, so, automatic naka-archive. Okay. Update natin. So, this is the close. Ito naman is yung open. So, this is a uh, full close. This is full open. Then, uh, condition tayo dito. String. Then, the call name. at uh, columns then condition tayo if the call name is full uh, open pag na full open siya. So, yung mga previous na academic year na naka-open, so, yung close mo natin. Okay? TBL Academic Year tapos uh, set natin set natin yung status nya so by default check natin sya click so by default um, ito yung status nya is naka open so once na merong naka open dyan so yung close nya lahat Okay. Go to close. And active connection. It seems that execute non query. Okay. And then condition tayo. I know. Uh, this is the condition. If message box. form Date 
PBL Academic Year. Set natin yung status. So, open. Then, where? So, where? The EY code. Where EY code? Um, uh, data grade. You want the throws. that cells so yung cell niya is 1 so check natin so yung ating academic year so check natin if cell this is 1 the ay code is 1 yan if 7 the uh, value that is 3 so pag equal siya kay academic um, year code so ay code natin update niya then same that execute and query. Cm, I know. Mrs. Box the shoe academic year turn. Open. So, may mga tali itong title. Check natin. Plotin natin ito. Yung title niya. Ipay natin dito. So, meron na pala. So, open and then we have the title Miss Box button that OK Miss Box um, icon that information Okay, and then load records Okay, so try natin academic year. For example, uh, atin siyang i-open ito. So, open this academic year term. Pag yes natin. Yes. Ayan. May error siya. Update PBL EY set status for EY code. Taba EY code. So, this is the EY code. error niya update even EY set status open your EY code ay sige so pulon ko lang tayo ng like click natin yan so yan naka open siya so ito yung click natin so isa naman yung naka open ok and then yung isa yung sa close so, sa close natin is, copy lang natin to. Ayan. So, ayos lang tayo dito. Tapos, else. I mean, else. Tapos, if. Condition. So, pag equal to close. So, close this academic year. So, again, this is close. And then, this is close. So, Ayan. So, ito, tanggalin na natin. Okay. So, try natin. So, example ito. Close natin. Close this academic year. So, ayan. Na-close na siya. Ito, un-open natin. Open this academic year. Ayan, naka-open na. Pag ito, na-open natin. Open siya. Then, close yung isa. So, hindi pwede dalawang academic year yung um, pariyan na open So, one at a time lang uh, dapat mag-open ng academic year.
Yung sa next natin gagawin is, kung tayo dito sa maintenance muna, sa strand. Okay? So, gawin lang tayo dito ng table. Right click, new. Right tayo ng table. So, this is the ID. So, integer. Ayan. Set natin to primary key. Tapos, um, or kahit hindi na siguro ID. Strand na. Tapos, parkar lang natin to. Then, ito is a description. And, parkar. Save natin yung TBL strat. Okay, so replace natin. Then, go tayo ng store procedure. So, store procedure ang gagawin natin dito. Store procedure. And, store procedure. So, by default kasi dito, yung store procedure na ginamit natin. Ayan, so that mayroon tayong SPEI insert. So, ito is, change natin yung um, DBO niya. So, yung DBO natin is, is the DBO. That, the procedure name. So, SP. And then, um, strand. Insert. Okay. So, pasa natin dito. We have this strand. Let's set natin yung bar tar. 50. Sa so, description natin, sa so, strand natin is, I think naka 50 siya. So, update natin to design. Gawin natin siyang max. Save. So, pag hindi nag-save yung skill server nyo, so, punta lang kayo ng tools, tapos option, tapos uh, query execution, ano, uh, a designer, tapos yan, check lang nyo to. Prevent saving changes the recordable recreation para mag-save yung uh, file ninyo. Okay. So, for car, and then we have this for car. At a uh, description. So, for car. Max. Okay, so, tanong, pwede, pwede lang ba, ano, kalitan natin yung parameter variable natin. Hindi natin uh, sample dito sa column natin is strand. So, dito is palitan natin ng iba. So, okay lang. Walang problema dyan. This is uh, only a variable. Dito tayo mag-insert. Insert into name ng table. Table strand. And then, pasok natin si um, strand and then si description tapos uh, values at strand at description so check natin ok execute ayan automatic na meron na dito sa ating store procedure ok so meron tayong strand insert Okay, so next natin gagawin is Gawa tayo ng form New form Then our FRM Okay, 
Tapos, set natin dito. Ito is nakamaximize. Tapos, uh, sizable none. Tapos, um, um, style natin scale yun. Okay, so check natin sa ating academic year. Okay. Check natin dito kung gumamit pa ako dito lang. Designer. Okay. Then, next natin yung gawin is explore natin. So, again, tanggalin natin yan. Tapos, naka window state maximize. And then, um, border style. None. Tapos, ang font natin. Natin to 10. Okay. Tapos, Copy na lang natin to. Ayan sila. So, copy natin. Or, um, sila muna lang copy natin yung size para kasi agad. Ayan. Tapos, copy di. Copy natin yan. Lagay natin dito. Okay. Then, tanggalin na natin to. Ayan. So, add new. So, ito. Change natin to. Then, this is strand. Tapos, ito is description. So, ayan. Tanggalin na natin yung dalawa. Tapos, ito is okay na natin. No, this is not set, tapos this na pa okay, tapos ito so instead na call close, so change natin to call edit and this is call delete so change natin yung icon Okay. Then, what next? So, add pa tayo isang form. Add. And then, Windows form. So, this is FRM. Strand. Tapos, tanggalin natin yan. Tapos, enter screen. Tapos, naka fix single. Then, so, dapat uniform yung ano, yung font natin. And then, para matanggal to, so, punta tayo sky. Control box. Okay. So, and again, copy natin yung design na yan. So, hindi tayo gumamit ng mini framework. So, more on ano lang yan. Uh, default lang na control yung mga ginamit natin. Siguro sa later part ng ating tutorial, so pwede tayong gumamit, okay? So, this is um, strand. 
to use uh, the the dispose tapos balik tayo dito atin ang label atin ang label then change natin to strand tapos text atin ang text tapos ito is description Then, copy lang natin yung button. Lagay natin dyan. Dito. Ayan. So, wait natin to. Uh, color white. Tapos, this is save. At then, yung isa pang button for update. Change natin yung uh, name niya is BTN update. Then, change natin yung text niya. Then, update. Tapos, um, add tayo ng cancel button. So, this is cancel. Ayan. So, change natin yung Background ng cancel, cancel natin. So, gawin natin mas light lang. Tapos yung uh, for color niya, gawin natin ayan. Then of course, ito lahat sila. So, by default, naka-modifier, naka-private siya. So, meaning, hindi siya pwede tawagin dun sa kabilang form. So, para matawag natin, so set natin to public. Okay, so ayan, nakagawa na tayo ng design. So, pwede na tayong mag-code dito. So, bakit tayo dito ng code ay using uh, system.data.sql client. Okay, tapos add ng variable is uh, QL connection CN um, SQL command CM Tapos yung connection natin dito kay DB class So, this is DB class ay class DB class DB uh, DB in new class db. Okay, tapos dito, asin new SQL connection. Tapos lagay natin si db dot yung property natin for connection or method natin connection na sa loob ng ating class db ito yung gate connection. Okay. So, pwede tayong gumawa ng code na. So, save. Try. So, try pag may error, so, dapat may cuts tayo dito. Then, exception. So, X. So, kailangan natin mag-cuts kasi once na na-publish na yung uh, system natin, tapos magkaroon ng error. Like, for example, karoon ng error dito. So, automatic nag- um, ma-terminate yung program natin na hindi natin alam kung anong klaseng error. So, at least, ito is a prompt niya kung anong error yung Uh, na-encounter niya during sa pag-execute ng ating system. Send that close. So, close natin yung connection if ever magka-error. Then, message box natin. That as you. So, yan. Copy muna tayo dito ng ano. So, copy natin to yung title natin sa ating system. Lagyan natin dito. Ayan. Tapos yun. And then, ax.message And then, um, is title or title. Tapos, um, message box button that okay. Message box icon that warning. Then, semicolon. 
Okay, so this time tayo mag-code. So, kayo na lang maglagay ng validation. For example, pag walang laman. So, pwede nyo lang if lang yan. If lang natin. If, for example, txt. Yan o, hindi pa natin na change yung So, hindi pa natin ito na palitan. So, this is uh, txt strand and then uh, and then this is txt description. Okay. So, txt strand dot text So, gawin natin um, thing that empty condition lang natin tapos pwede tayong mag or or then txt description that text equal to string that empty ayan so if ever empty sya Mrs. Fox that also required empty Python and then Mrs. Box button dot okay Mrs. Box icon dot warning then return so, yung return natin dito para uh, hindi niya ituloy yung pag-process o yung execution ng ating program. So, once na ma-encounter si return, so terminate automatic yung program natin. Then, if ever hindi siya empty, so dito tayo mag-save. Then, that close. Okay, and then cm. Yung SQL command. Okay, so pwede tayong mag, since nagamit tayo ng install procedure, so, cm, and then, connection, cn, cm that connection, then active connection natin na cn, ayan, cm, that command type, then command type, start procedure, ilagay natin yung start procedure natin dyan ito po yung si yung start procedure natin yan, copy natin dyan lagay natin dito so uh, dot Command type that stored procedure. value uh, just go and search it natin ah, hindi ko na search natin strong and then say description strong and then paste the strong and this is this description
qui ta voz que te dice una procedura ¿no? clear file date void text description Tapos, dito is tawagin natin si Clear. Yeah. And of course, dito sa ating strand natin. Ano, for time code. Stop muna natin. Strand natin is F7. Pag-display natin yung record is using system.data.sql uh, client. And then we have SQL connection cn SQL command cn Tapos yung Ipihan natin ito Yung title niya And of course uh, Connection natin And connection So maka tayong dito Na class db Class db db Yung class db this is db dot get connection okay tapos istra natin so yung owner niya is si txt eh, ano si frms um, strand strand list pagtawagin natin sorry I'm strong calls yung update natin ok, the next natin gagawin is so, dito natin ipadisplay yung record A public void load record this is a data grid view 1 tapos clear natin Send that open. Send that close. And then, this will come on. Then, select a script from table, uh, table strand. Okay, and then, see an active connection at that. And DR, then that execute reader. While, DR the traits, we look in yung laman ng DR and of course, we close natin yung DR so, bata dito ang variable and i set value 0 and this is i 
sa plus increment ng value size. So, siya ay gawin natin siyang row number. Data grade the view one the rows that add let's see, ay, the row number natin then dr strong natin the to string and description the to string and semicolon okay yan so meron na and save natin gagawin is pag save natin so tawagin natin si uh, if dot load records okay tapos atin yung form so lagyan natin siya ng code so this is btn or menu then copy lang natin yan so this is frm strand list copy natin, lagay natin dito dot load record ok, so run natin mm -hmm. error So, check natin yung error. What error to? Um, there's no argument. Required formal parameter if RM. And this is fun. That's okay. rin eh. Error. It error to. Ay, walang tayo dito ng plus. Kaya pala. Add tayo. Example, IC ICT Information and Communication Technology Technology Okay, so error So, check natin yung code Pulo siya ng error <laughs> Character case yung natin Character case Ayan, so error tayo dito It's P, strand insert Strand description natin check 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 specific strong description okay, so baka dito yan okay, yan natin sa bracket Try natin. ICP Information Communication Technology Then save natin. O error pa rin. Which error? Uh, record is not set in zero. Which error? Check natin. Is command type, cn, active connection natin then dito is sp meron sa connection ok, meron sp, strand description strand description yan, check natin dito strand description tama
Check nothing. Check nothing. Check. Okay, so check natin balik tayo strand add natin OCP and save okay so may mali dito pa lang So, may mali dito sa connection. Check natin. So, ba't mali yung connection natin? Click sa open. cn.open cn.usmusical connection. Okay, sa so get connection. Okay naman yung get connection natin dyan. Comment that in So, dito pa lang, nagpudusin na siya ng error. Again. Object not okay. Cn pa command type. Tayo dito. Command type the password procedure. Cn that which is string. TV dan get connection. Kita try naten. Tidak ICT. Save. Yang seeror keren. Seeror. Tanya nombor same. that is transient procedure procedure
Instance object. Okay, yung connection niya. Tapos dito, uh, si end.open. Come on, type. So this is a CM new SQL command. So ICT execute and create information as we know. Okay. Then query is not been initialized. Okay, 
CN dot uh, collection CN. Okay, so update tayo, update natin. So, um, stream, column name. Okay, so ipasa natin yung value galing kay data grade. Ayan, then si text text is from that label force natin. Okay, so update natin. So, dito. tayo ng bagong parameter so this is tbo dot uh, sp strong update pasan natin si at description darker max at Run. Di barkar. Update natin dito. 
Clip TBL Strand Pasip natin Description Add Description Where Strand Where is Strand like strand check then execute ayan meron na tapos so let's update natin copyin na lang natin yung code ng save copy lagay natin dito ayan tapos Pwede lang gumawa pa ng condition dito. Like for example, if message box touch you, then update this record uh, title message box button dot yes no message box icon dot questions dialog result that yes so, pag update nya yes so change natin to this is date yun tapos yung update natin so, palit lang natin itong dalawa yun na si strand i mean yun na si description tapos si strand yun tapos record as basics fully updated load records tapos days that dispose okay so sa so save pwede rin so, pwede rin gawa muna tayo dito save ng ano ng condition dito so before nyo save sa so, condition mo na ayan pag equal isra natin I mean pag yes isra natin siya i-save yung record ito yung save ito yung update natin example isra natin tapos update natin uh, yun yung itong si ano si gas I mean si ICT this is information and communication technology tapos update dot at save is nakalisipan update record yes ayan ang update sya so dapat yung ano yung save natin is this is um pretty and update akan able true update natin so hindi naka-disable kasi yung update uh, button yung naka-disable ay naka-disable yung save tapos update button yung naka-enable ok so, mag-save tayo so tanong muna siya ano hindi update so this is save again so this is not update save ayan tapos dito is Close natin. Hindi natin nalagyan ng code. And this the dispose. Okay. Tapos. Ayan. Extra natin. Tapos. Save record. Yes. Automatic mag-save. Save record. Yes. Automatic mag-save. Update. For example, ito update natin so, update yes so, automatic mag close itong run module tapos na, na update yung record natin dito ok so hindi tayo sa delete yan tapos yan lang natin yung condition na to tapos else tayo and then if then this is cool delete so before natin delete sa so question muna natin if 
means it's box that I'll show then delete this record so title natin is the title tapos miss box button that yes no uh, miss box icon that questions equal to dialog result equal to yes ayan so pag yes automatic delete niya si end that open so kahit hindi na tayo mag-store procedure dito ok lang then cm new sql command then delete from tbl uh, table strand so where tayo dito where um, strand like data grade view 1 that rows a that row index that cells cell number 1 that value that string ok tapos connection natin is the end of the connection and then cm that execute non query tapos this is back side dito dito is pwede natin po tanggalin then this is box that I'll show record has been successfully deleted title so this is the title message box button that ok miss box icon that information so, wagin natin si load records para ma-refresh yung um, data grid natin. So, run natin. Run natin. Ayan. Sample delete natin to. Delete this record. Yes. Automatic delete siya. Pero yun, pag i-delete natin. Yes. Automatic na-delete siya. Okay? So, next uh, tutorial natin. So, code tayo ng section. Then, after section, pwede tayong mag-code for a student. Okay, student. Tapos, ayan. Ito sila. Okay, so, thank you for watching. Happy coding.